Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm going to make a quick demonstration of SAM. It's action 7 of SNAT. It's to, it's a, a simple art monitor and I'm going to start it now. As you can see, the dev field gateway, the MAT address and a new option F. It allows you to save all the packets uh, that SNAT intercepts captures whatsoever to a file that's readable by Wireshark and TCP dump and other popular tools so off we go um start it uh, Sam so the usual window keeps you keeps your information up to date and now I'm going to use a unit Linux tool appspoof uh, little pretend that one one is on the Windows machine. As usual there's a Windows machine it's XP um connected to a switch and the rest of the monitor is I'm sorry, my uh <laughs> my line <lineage. laughs> so yeah I'm gonna choose interface two uh because the M9 USB is a uh, Ethernet adapter, quite cool thing to have. As you can see, uh, SNAP managed to detect that without any major issues or any issues at all. So it works absolutely fine. Now I'm going to stop the attack and now have a look at SNAP Action 8. If you want to know what it actually does and how it works, you can look at the documentation on the SNAP website. And it's basically to help to de detect sniffers on a network. I press enter. I press enter and it started. Hey, uh, it's sending an ARP request, a forged one, but still, Sam is able to detect that. Um, so, everything's on plate. You can see what packets it can detect for now. Then it stop uh, action 8 from Windows, start 10 able. It's a very popular Windows. Uh, tool for doing lots of malicious stuff. I'm gonna start the sniffer, uh, scan the network again for hosts. Uh, one to six is me, one forty is uh, additional um, computer. It's a real one this time. And whoa, 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 not here. I'm going to uh, delete the old entry and add a new one. One one versus one forty. I'm gonna start poisoning. It's poison as you can see, but unfortunate uh SNAP is unable to detect anything because that's not going to broadcast whatsoever whatsoever. And if you know how a switch works, it connects logical links between ports. So I'm not able to see most of the traffic that goes through the switch. So undetectable as for me. Uh now back to train enable. Uh, the next thing I will try to do is to stop the actual attacks and delete this entry and have a go at a uh, different approach and attack myself. Well, Windows attacking me uh, to six is going to poison my ARP cache and try to intercept traffic. A typical man in the middle attack. So I start the sniffer, start the actual poisoning, and as you notice, probably um, Sam was able to detect that there's something wrong uh, with uh, a request. And wow, sorry, and it's wrote out what it is actually, what it does, and what's happening. So this is it. Um, what else would I like to show you? Uh, I will stop the attack and stop Sam. What well, action seven? And now use Wireshark and actually open the file that we just created with Sam. Uh, and as you will see in a second, uh, I got all the packets that were that were in injected to the actual network by. Um, host Windows host and I got them and they are sent to broadcast as you can see but the difference is that they are replies uh, that's the problem they are replies sent to broadcast that's quite a strange thing 
uh, for someone to do that, so it's been detected, and it has, and it has, around pair. Uh, so that become ain't uh, at this IP address because we specified the IP and the match of the gateway uh, while um, initializing snap as you can see here. So that's why I detected it. Um, the next packets it got were the packets from here, FE, the ones that Action 8 uses. So yeah, managed to detect that because it's a forged uh, broadcast. The last uh, bit is FE, not FF, and it's a uh, and it's a gratuitous up. I'm not sure if I can pronounce that properly. So yeah, this is how it works, and these are the strange requests that can um, enable this. The target, my address is 0000, IP is the one of my victim and this is the one that should the default gateway only have. So manage to detect that. If you want to detect all the traffic uh, using Upwatch for example on your switch, you need to enable one of the ports to have port monitor. And you can also use this little uh, simple tool, SAM, but it's only protecting the default gateway, looking only for the changes of that. So yes, I think that's all I want to show you, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.